My core values are family, trust, and adaptability, and I feel that trust and adaptability were strongly reflected to in this video, and this is due to the idea of getting comfortable with the uncomfortable. Stepping out of your comfort zone isn't something that's easy to do by any means, and having that trust in yourself can make it a little bit easier, so that way when you do step out of your comfort zone, you do still have some kind of hold on yourself. And being able to adapt is similar to the domino effect where it's easy to be a bystander, but knowing when you need to change and become the first domino is very important. Luby mentions how she was afraid to become a writer because she was scared she'd lose her 401k and not be able to keep up her shoe habit. And she also mentions how stepping out of her comfort zone was scary for her because she didn't know it would impact her financially. And this shows Maslow's hierarchy, the first level being physiological needs, because she didn't know if doing these things would result in her having her basic needs for survival, food, water, and a place to live. Fear does play a role in my life because it makes me think. When people say, oh, it's all in your head, they aren't wrong. Fear is your body's way of protecting you and telling you that something may not end well. So when I'm scared, I think, why am I afraid? Is it what I'm doing that's afraid or what someone else is doing? So fear kind of makes me second guess whatever it is is happening. And that doesn't mean I allow it to control my life though. I stand up to fear by considering why I feel it and determining, is it rational or irrational? Should I make this decision? Should I not? Why do I feel this fear? For me, being the domino is similar to how I deal with fear, and that's by me thinking before I do things. I like what Luvi said about what she thinks about before she says things, and that's, did you mean it? Can you defend it? And did you say it with love? For me, being the domino has been harder than if I was social or enterprising because I'm more on the conventional and investigative. So being that domino doesn't come as natural to, naturally to me, but by being able to apply my own ideas of thoughts and thinking my way through things, I know that I can become a domino too, and I think that when other people that are also like me see that, it'll encourage them to be the domino more. I know to get more comfortable with the uncomfortable in my career journey, I need to start accepting my strengths and weaknesses. I have narrowed down what field I want to go into, but I haven't chosen a specific career in that field, and a lot of what's been holding me back is being scared of which one to choose. I have my strengths like math and science and my love for building, but I also have my weaknesses like playing far ahead and preferring to take smaller steps over larger steps. And these things have kind of held me back from narrowing down my career choice. And after this, after watching this video, I've been inspired to start accepting my strengths and either should I work on my weaknesses or accept them for what they are. And doing this will make it a lot easier to determine what specific career I want to do.